Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about perception in unit 3 that is cognitive processes. Already I have posted in my part 1 video about attention in cognitive processes. If you have not watched that video, I have given link in description box. The content what we are going to discuss in this part 2a video is perception, its introduction and definition as well as the principles of perception. In my part 2b video, I will be discussing about factors affecting perception and errors in perception. This video is useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students, students who are studying general psychology and BA. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Psychology playlist link I have given in the description box which will be useful for BSc nursing students. The contents as I have told already, we are going to discuss with introduction and definition of perception, principles of perception. Let's move on to the topic. Perception. What is perception? So, when our sense organs are seeing something, no, we are perceiving it. Okay, suppose if you are seeing a fire. So, we are interpreting the senses. We are perceiving the senses. So, whether it is danger or not. So, everything comes at what? By means of perception. So, when our sense organs come in contact with the world and are stimulated by external stimuli and receive sensations, it results in perception. So, sensation will be preceding perception. So, after sensation, what will be happening? It is perception. So, sensation is the initial response to a stimulus. So, based on that, you will be perceiving. Suppose suddenly a hot object comes into contact with your skin. So, immediately what you are perceiving, you are uh, sensing hotness. So, immediately your brain is telling it is a hot object. So, you have to take it away from the thing. So, you are perceiving it as a hot object. So, perception is the interpretation of sensory stimuli which reaches the sense organs to the brain. From the sense organs, the stimuli is carried to the brain no? and the interpretation is called as what your perception. So, interpretation gives meaning to sensation. So, your perception of objects or whatever you are seeing external stimulus will be giving meaning. Okay, okay, your sensation will be given meaning by means of perception. So, the definitions of perception are perception is the experience of objects, events or relationships obtained by extracting information from and interpreting sensations. So, from the sensation only you will be able to perceive it. So, perception is the experience of what? Objects, events or relationship. So, it is obtained by what? Extracting information from and interpreting sensation. This definition was given by J. H. Jackson O. Desiderato and D. B. Housen in the year 1976. Perception is also an defined as an individual response or individual's awareness aspect of behavior. So, perception is an individual's awareness aspect of behavior for it is the way each person processes the raw data. Raw data means the sensory data or information he receives from the environment into meaningful pattern so the raw data that is the sensory information is converted into meaningful pattern by means of what perception this definition is given by whom yes R. E. Silverman in the year 1976. So, let's see the principles of perception or perceptual organization. We have so many principles. Let's see one by one. First principle is principle of figure ground relationship. So, based on the background, okay, sometimes the background will be very light. Sometimes the background will be very uh, bright. So, based on the background, the figure perception will be very it so the as much as the figure the background is also very important so based on the figure and background has been interpreted okay either the figure can be in, uh, interpreted or perceived against a background or the background can be interpreted or perceived against a figure okay suppose if the background is not good even the figure is good also it may be unclear suppose if the figure is good and the background is not good also again the 
perception will become ambiguous ambiguous means unclear no clarity will be there sometimes no you may not know both the background as well as the figure will be equally attractive so you may not know whether you have to perceive the figure or whether you have to perceive the background in such situations uh, there will be a dilemma in perception so let's see this example principle of figure ground relationship so one example what i have shown so here there are two faces some can perceive these two faces okay when you are seeing this picture some will be perceiving there are two faces but it can be in other way because here the background is also that much important so here the white color background it can be interpreted as a butterfly or a sand clock or it can be interpreted as a flower vase so anything it can be or it can be interpreted as a dia so in so many ways you can interpret this white background also next we will see principle of closure completeness sometimes the figure may not be complete but uh, you will be uh, you will be filling it by means of your sensory gaps so you know what will be the next sometimes no uh, for example a song they will be singing but they will be leaving and they will be singing the other thing but you can you, you can understand it is from the a particular song and you can fill the sensory gap similarly familiar uh, wordings and all no familiar words or letters and all even if it is not complete also you can complete it by seeing it itself you can complete it so that is principle of closure see here there is an example in which the letter w m d so here you have gaps w m d so you have so many gaps but in spite of those gaps by seeing the figure itself you are not thinking even for a fraction of a second and you are immediately telling it is wmd so this is your principle of perception based on closure so even if the letter is not complete also by means of your sensory gaps you are completing the letter okay so you are not perceiving it as some unknown figure okay next is principles of grouping all always we will be perceiving by means of groups either in circles patterns or um, proximity okay or by means of continuous uh, perception or discontinuous image so everything the perception will be differing so this is principle of grouping so here uh, in this example you can see when i am telling you will not tell individually how many circles are there suppose uh, individually you will not tell that 12 circles are there instead of that what you will be telling uh, so this is what dark colored dark colored pattern of circles and this is what light color pattern of circles so dark color pattern of circles you are having six and light color pattern of circles you are having six like that you will be perceiving it instead of telling it to one you will be telling in this way okay next is the similar thing one more example so based on the proximity proximity or closeness also your perception will be different for example we have uh, how many lines are there instead of telling there are six lines so how you will be telling you will be telling there are three pairs of lines so you will be telling what there are three pairs of lines or three set of lines 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so instead of telling uh, uh, six lines how you will be telling you will be telling three pairs of lines so individually you will not perceive this lines you will be perceiving each pair so three pairs you will be perceiving because the lines are very close to each other so the perception how your human mind will be perceiving so in this way most of us uh, okay 99% of us will be perceiving in this way so the objects you know based on the continuity or discontinuity you will be uh, specifying for example here you will you, when i am asking uh, how many uh, the, what is the pattern of the figure you will be telling one straight line and one curved line so you will not tell the semi circles in between this will not be perceived initially so you will be telling it what one day a straight line and a curved line initially then if i am asking you to further tell me then you will be telling that semi circle so instead of a uh, have uh, perceiving this semi circle you will be perceiving this as what this as a curved line so in this way your perception will be varying in grouping 
that is called as what principle of grouping so next is principle of simplicity okay so we perceive the simplest possible pattern rather than complex pattern okay so the simplest possible pattern rather than the complex pattern so instead of so we perceive the simplest possible pattern because they enable the perceiver to perceive the whole from sum of its parts so from simple parts you are finally perceiving the whole part so principle of simplicity next moving on to principle of contour what is contour means a boundary a boundary of your figure and its background so a contour is said to be a boundary between your figure and its background so the degree of quality of the contour separating the figure from the ground is responsible for enabling us to organize the stimuli or objects into meaningful pattern so the background the boundary between the background and the figure is very very important in order to perceive the things so that is called as what principle of context next to moving on to principle of context so your perceptual organization is also governed by the principle of context that is an examiner may award higher marks to the same answer book in a pleasant context than in an unpleasant one okay suppose uh, principle of context suppose by seeing good handwriting good presentation okay the uh, examiner will be awarding more marks uh, the same content and the same thing uh, if written in an ugly handwriting okay if the handwriting is not nice uh, okay or legible the same content if you have presented also the marks will be less for unpleasant handwriting okay so this is with regard to principle of context next is principle of contrast so your perception vary from contrast colors for example dark background light color figure light uh, figure dark figure light color background that is the contrast a uh, thing is very very important the opposite things uh, are very very important so here i will be showing an example here the surrounding circles in a make the center circle seem larger than the central circle in b even though the two are same in the size see here figure a and figure b see here in figure a the figure a the surrounding circles in figure a make the central circle seem larger than the central circle in b see here so this center circle and this center circle is same but when you are seeing because this center circle is surrounded by so many small circles so we will be perceiving it that this center circle is very very big compared to that of so this is a figure this is b figure okay so this center circle is smaller is larger than this center circle we are feeling but both are same only only the difference is here this center circle is surrounded by smaller circles here the center circle is surrounded by larger circles so we are thinking that this is a, a figure is bigger than b figure but it is not so okay so this is what principle of contrast so why this circle is looking so big because it is surrounded by so small a circle why this circle in b is looking so small because it is a uh, the center circle is surrounded by various big circles but when we are comparing this circle center circle and this center circle is both what equal or same in size so this is principle of contrast next is principle of adaptability so the perceptual organization for some stimuli depends on the adaptability of the perceiver to perceive similar stimuli an individual who adapts himself to work before an intense bright light will perceive normal sunlight as quite dim okay for example so a person who has a, a worked in a calm environment okay in a calm environment when he is going outside even a mild noise also will be exaggerated similarly a person who have been working in very bright um, lights okay even the sunlight will be looking dull for him okay so this is what principle of adaptability 
so my next video as i have told in part 2b i'll be discussing about factors affecting perception and errors in perception hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested in the card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel